On Tuesday, the 30th of July, a rather unusual and unexpected incident took place in Hugang, Singapore, where a 53-year-old man named Ramamuthi Reddy Ajayaraman found himself at the center of a legal controversy that has sparked significant public interest. The incident, which has left many both baffled and intrigued, involved Ramamuthi swallowing a teenager's cigarette in an attempt to protect the young boy from a possible fine and blemished record. This act, although carried out with seemingly good intentions, ultimately led to Ramamuthi being fined 1,000 Singapore dollars by the court. The events unfolded earlier in March at a void deck in Hugang, a location marked clearly with a no-smoking sign, signaling the strict enforcement of Singapore's smoking regulations. It was here that an unnamed teenager was caught in the act of smoking, a violation of the National Environment Agency, NEA, a regulations. Ramamuthi, who was sitting next to the teenager, was present when two NEA enforcement officers approached them. The officers, upon spotting the teenager smoking in the restricted area, promptly informed him that he had committed an offence and requested his particulars for further action. As the NEA officers carried out their duties, the teenager reportedly appeared nervous and did not immediately respond to the officers' requests. Sensing the growing tension and perhaps foreseeing the potential consequences the teenager might face, Ramamuthi decided to intervene. He asked the teenager to hand over the cigarette he was smoking. What happened next took everyone by surprise. Ramamuthi swallowed the cigarette, an act intended to protect the teenager from enforcement action. He then instructed the teenager to run away, which the boy did, fleeing the scene before the NEA officers could take any further action. Ramamuthi's actions, however, did not go unnoticed. He was soon brought before the court to answer for his interference with the NEA officers' duties. In court, Ramamuthi explained his actions, stating that he acted impulsively and with the intention of protecting the teenager from having a blemished record at such a young age. He also noted that the two were not related, adding an additional layer of complexity to the case. Ramamuthi further pleaded for leniency, explaining that he was unaware that eating a cigarette could be considered an offence in Singapore. He also mentioned his personal circumstances, highlighting that he is the sole breadwinner for his family and his 84-year-old mother, in an attempt to mitigate his punishment. Despite his explanations and pleas, District Judge Shifuddin Saruan clarified that the issue was not with Ramamuthi's consumption of the cigarette itself. In a pointed remark, the judge noted, you want to eat all number of cigarettes, that's entirely up to you, the court has no issue with that. The offence, the judge explained, lay in Ramamuthi's obstruction of the NEA officer's duties. By swallowing the cigarette, Ramamuthi had effectively prevented the officers from collecting crucial evidence related to the teenager's offence of smoking in a void deck, an area where smoking is prohibited. Under Singaporean law, obstructing an authorised officer from exercising their power is a serious offence. First-time offenders, like Ramamuthi, can face fines of up to 2,000 Singapore dollars. Repeat offenders may be subject to even harsher penalties, including fines of up to 5,000 Singapore dollars, imprisonment for up to three months, or both. In this case, Ramamuthi was fined 1,000 Singapore dollars, a significant sum but one that reflects the seriousness with which the courts view any interference with law enforcement processes. This incident has sparked considerable debate and discussion, both online and offline. Many have expressed sympathy for Ramamuthi, understanding his desire to protect the teenager from what he saw as potentially life-altering consequences. However, others have pointed out the importance of upholding the law and ensuring that all individuals, regardless of their intentions, face the appropriate consequences for their actions. What are your thoughts on this unusual case? Do you think Ramamuthi's actions were justified, or should he have allowed the law to take its course? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more detailed news coverage on stories that matter. And as always, click on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos.